So, when it comes to the mosques, I have great respect for all religions, but we have to have a certain surveillance because things are happening that are not good. So here's what happens, and it was very interesting. During a speech recently, I said that I saw in parts of New Jersey, Jersey City, but parts of New Jersey, I saw people getting together and in fairly large numbers celebrating as the World Trade Center was coming down, killing thousands of people, thousands and thousands of people. People are still dying of what happened to the World Trade Center, and they're dying a terrible death. And I saw people, and I saw on television, and I read about it on the internet, and I read about it. So they said, oh, we can't find anything, Mr. Trump. The reporters are calling all day, all night. They want to find out, did Trump make a mistake? So I have some good people. And they checked and they checked. And believe me, it's been cleared off, plenty of stuff. They don't like that, because that's not good for the liberal cause, right? But they don't like it. And lo and behold, I start getting phone calls in my office by the hundreds that they were there and they saw this take place. On the internet and my tweets, at real Donald Trump. At real Donald Trump. They'll turn those cameras off for a second. Look at all of them. At real Donald Trump. So all of a sudden, I'm getting all of these tweets. I saw it. I was there. I was there. So, but I saw it. I saw it. So what happens? I put my, you know, it was a long time ago. So September 18th. Now, you know, September 11th was one of the worst days, maybe the worst day in the history of our country. Worse than Pearl Harbor, because at least with Pearl Harbor, they were attacking the military. They were attacking ships and they were attacking the military. Here they're attacking civilians that had, I knew people, I know so many people that died in the World Trade Center. Unbelievable people, great people, friends of mine, unbelievable people. They died in the World Trade Center. This wasn't, they didn't have weapons, they didn't have anything. They were, they, they were horribly, this is, and that was a horrible death. I watched people jumping off the building. How would you like to be? 102 stories up, and your choice is burn or jump. And many people jumped, and I witnessed it, I watched that. Because I had a view, I have a window in my apartment that specifically was aimed at the World Trade Center because of the beauty of the whole downtown Manhattan. And I watched as people jumped, and I watched the second plane come in. And I was watching television when the first plane hit. And they said, no, it must have been a boiler explosion, but I'm good at real estate. Boilers are not up there. Boilers are underneath, right? They're in the basements. And I said, that was not a boiler. And then I saw the second plane come in. And I said, wow, that's unbelievable. And there were people that were very, very happy. And those people, not good people. So, nobody believed me. Some people believe, by the way, thousands of people believe because they saw it. But the media was going crazy. They were having a field. And one of my people came in, Mr. Trump, I have a story in the Washington Post, uh, Washington Post, Washington Post. How good is that, right? That's good. Because they do us no favors. They do us no, they're one of many, but they do us, and I have to tell you, and I say it a lot, among the most dishonest people I've ever dealt with are the media. The media. Among the most Among the most dishonest. Unbelievable. The level of dishonesty is unbelievable. Not everybody. I've met some incredible people. Those people right there with all the cameras going. And some are very good, and you know, in all fairness, I've dealt with some very fair people. I've dealt with some really treacherous, horrible human beings that will quote you totally wrong things that you never even said. I said, I never said that. But they're very dishonest people. So, one of my people comes in, this is a story from the Washington Post on September 18th, a week later, 2001. In Jersey City, within hours of two jetliners, Plowing into the World Trade Center, law enforcement authorities detained in question a number of people who were allegedly seen celebrating the attacks and holding tailgates 
style tailgate. You know what that means? Tailgate. That means football games, Ohio State, thousands of people in parking lots, on roofs. Tailgate is a lot of people. Tailgate is not two people. And holding tailgate style parties on rooftops while they watched the devastation on the other side of the river. Okay? Washington Post. Washington Post. So they've come in and we've received hundreds of phone calls in my office because it's become sort of a big subject. And they want to try and deny it. But you can't deny it. Many people in this room heard about it, probably saw it. And, you know, the sad part is we're all sort of on the same side. Whether you're liberal or conservative or Democrat or Republican, we're sort of on the same. We want, we want our country to be great again. That's what the whole thing is, right?